Hello there. I didn't see you there. I've just been farming for the past hour, hoping that maybe this last ditch effort will get me a mending book. I I've been I've been grinding for days. I swear. The overall time has been days at minimum. Like, actually days. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I feel like I had been grinding f f freaking fish, fish, my, my fish farm for days. But, like, I ain't got a single mending book to show for it. Obviously, I did some redecorating. We had a situation where an Enderman decided he wanted to move a block and update all the sand here, so I had to redecorate, which was a fun event. So, yeah, I've been rather unlucky when it comes to getting a mending book. Plus these three. I also finished up this stuff and was doing some legit enchanting. Honestly, this is the only one I would keep. The two are alright, but nothing to write home about. Also, I did make our pickaxe fairly good. Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, and Breaking 3. All that's left now is to put mending on it when we get it. I also named it Wario's Pickaxe, because all of my tools will be named after references. Like my Shooby Doo Rod. Wario's Pickaxe. That's not Lapis. Efficiency 4. Aww. Uh, sharpness 3 Mending? No. And we're out of levels. Wait, wait. Do you have another efficiency four book, which is always good. Always nice to have extras of things. And that brings me to my plan, I guess, for the day. I don't know if I showed that in the last episode, but I had encountered another pillager captain. Also, I've done some mining. Just a bit. Just just a small, small amount of mining, you know. Don't ask why I haven't smelted the iron, I just haven't gotten around to it. I also did some organizing. Finally. <laughs> Still not great, we also got some cow's heads from slaughtering cows. I'm just going to store these in here for right now. They're out of the way. Way more Nautilus shells than we'll ever need. Um... I don't remember when I got that. I think I had it in the last episode as well. This will be helpful for much later. But since our foray into the fishing has been a bust, I've done my research and found that with the introduction of 1.14, there has been an easier way to get mending books, so to speak, involving using lectern and villager stuff. So I think I might be doing that. I don't know if I'll do it this episode or next episode or in between episodes. I might start trying to get it this episode and see how long it takes us. See how we do. Okay. I also finished my iron or my iron farm, our um, wheat farm, as you can see. You definitely. Ew. I would have been really annoyed had that been. Are you throwing stuff at me? Why are you throwing stuff? Are you really throwing things at me? What the hell? Oh. Jesus, you spooked me, Husk. 
Is he? Husk's aggro has been really weird lately. To me. I don't know if that's if it's, it's the way it's normally is, but I swear they follow me from like the ends of the earth. I thought witches were supposed to be passive mobs now. I mean, that aside, we seem to have a guest in our Come on. I swear I have to freaking replant that this entire section every time. I'm gonna put fences around this, Jesus Christ. I thought you were supposed to be passive. Now, I guess not, but still. Oh my lord. That's a lot of baddies. Oh, that's not good. Ha! Oh no, we're so dead. Okay, um, where am I? Okay. Um, hmm. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remake a full set of iron armor. If I can remember how to. Okay. <laughs> Technically, I could make a full set of diamond armor right now, but at the moment, I'm not prepared for that. Uh, please tell me I have sticks in here. Of course I don't. Uh, we have a very broken axe. Okay, let's go. You know what's funny? Is I think half my fell into the... The hell? Why you be breaking my redstone? Actually, come to think of it, I probably should just, you know, do that. <laughs> okay, um, this is a... This is a situation if I've ever been in one. I mean, at least I know they can't get out of that. Ooh, maybe I can get them to kill each other. Yeah, kill each other. Haha. -ha. I got them to weaken each other. Maybe not kill each other. Okay, let's... Now I'm on some steak and hopefully counteract this poison. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill us. We are on... Actually, what difficulty are we on? We're on normal. I'll turn that to hard later. <laughs> Eventually. Probably. Did I get the bad omen effect, or was it just because it wasn't me that killed? Uh, poison won't kill... <laughs> okay. Yeah, poison won't kill you on normal and easy. It will kill you on hard, if I'm not mistaken. could be wrong about that or I think it's only poison 2 that kills you I don't actually know because I don't normally fight witches cuz honestly for me it's kind of not very often that they spawn and I tend to avoid them in the witch huts I guess I could have grabbed the seeds as well while I was down here and I'm sure you've seen my um cow farm Yeah, there's a few cows there. Not very many, you know. Just a just a small handful. Just enough to get by. Well, I will replant all this and see you guys whenever I've gotten all this replanted. And with literally... Oh, I guess we had a stack in there, too. Oh, well. It was a stack of wheat, or... Yeah. Words. Things. Anyway. It's all replanted. I know how to speak the English, and that makes our third one. Apparently, we didn't kill the pillage captain. So, we didn't get the bad omen, so... I guess I'm not too much... Not complaining about that, because... It doesn't go away for a very long time. 
It does eventually time out, but not as quickly as you would think. You know, I really like the vanilla tweaks because I love the fact that this is actually 3D, and I really wish they would have actually done this in the actual game itself without having to modify it. Just It just makes so much more s Where the fuck did you come from? Where the hell did you three come from? Hey, you leave my cows alone. I didn't do anything to you. Or was that even them that... Come on, hit me. Ha! You can't touch this. I would like to know where they came from. They weren't there, were they? Did they just, like, spawn behind me? I have a... Okay, well, that was weird. They really like to spawn around me. I guess that's them getting revenge for me not showing them on camera the other times I've fought them. <laughs> Ironically enough, this is only the third time i fought them, and only the second time I've died to them. The second time I did really good. I mean, obviously, I still died, but still. I did good, I'd say. So, I have a story to tell you about me being weak. Weak-willed about certain things. So, I created a copy of this world. And I decided that I wanted to look for something. Something near my base, mind you. Because I happen to have a habit... This isn't on purpose, mind you, because I never look into the worlds before I generate them. All my seeds are always random. But I always have a habit of building my base. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, oh, this is not good. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, shit. I mean, I, uh, where was I? That got me really sidetracked really fast I have a tendency to build my base either right on top of or right next 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 to um dungeons And it just so happens that on my search, I found a bunch of pillagers. I don't remember these guys being there whenever I was looking. <laughs> that was a... That was a vindicator. I don't like vindicators very much. They're quite difficult to fight. I mean, these guys are a lot easier to fight, to be honest. So, I'm glad there's more of them than there were of the Vindicators. And I'm just hoping that was all of them. And then, you know, so as I was saying, and I, whenever I looked, I happened to see that at the end of this cave was a zombie spawner. So yes, I knew this was here, but I didn't know they were going to be guarding it. Maybe that's karma. Maybe that's just the game being a dick. Either way, I don't know what the rest of this cave has. I kind of just seen the, the dungeon and I was like, yep, I knew it. Because I don't know how I do it, but my house is always like right next to freaking dungeons. Every single time. Also, there's light coming in from up there, and I don't think it's torchlight. Anyway, we'll continue doing that later. I'm, I'm sad it's not a skeleton one, because the skeleton one would be really nice, but eh, I'll take what I can get. 
some bread, redstone dust, string, which would have been helpful ages ago. Some cat music discs. Per usual. Is that melon seeds? No, those are beetroot seeds. Come on, do the thing. You. Beetroot. Coal in a bucket. And iron horse armor. So pretty much nothing worthless. Or <laughs> everything worthless. Nice. Except for, well, obviously, that. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn this into a um, very slow, very inefficient, like, um, XP farm. Just because XP is nice and it's a hell of a lot easier to get XP whenever you have something of a farm. Ah. Uh, I swear there's a zombie right there. I swear this game actually hates me. Right now. It hates me for cheating. If you really call that cheating. I mean, I knew... I didn't go very much further than my base. What am I doing over here? I guess that could be considered cheating as well. I just wanted a mending book. I was gonna stop after I got a mending book. But I didn't. It never happened, so I never stopped. Oh. Tears. Uh. I really wish we had some blaze powder. <laughs> can actually make potions. We've had the brewing stand for a while, but no way to use it. You know, maybe we ought to go to the nether here in a little bit. Maybe not this episode, because it's already been 20 minutes. Jesus Christ, it's been 20 minutes and I've done nothing but, like, find that dungeon. Officially, I guess I should say. Well, I guess I took out a few hordes of pillagers, so that's something, right? And I also died by a witch. Cold my coffee. Alrighty. What to, also this is this is our map wall by the way, in case you were wondering why there were item frames here. I started building up our map wall. Now that the sand got updated by a douchebag Enderman, it's now symmetrical. Obviously the torch won't be there. It'll instead be a map of like how many chunks is that? How many chunks is the, um, what is it, second? Zoom in? I don't remember. Also, all of our birch trees have grown. I actually kind of forgot about them here and for a little bit here and there. So, like, it'll probably do something with those and maybe work on the house a little bit. I think this has been more of, a, like, just a planning video to be honest thank god we don't have the um what's it called is he still in there he is still in there okay we have a villager in here and i think to wrap this video up i'm going to get a lecture And we're going to try to make a mending villager. Hopefully the village itself being here won't have any effect. I mean, as long as there's no... I don't remember how to do it exactly. He wants to leave, so I think I'll let him leave. What are you anyway? You... Oh, he hasn't been able to restock his trades. Isn't it a crafting table? One. Ah, uh, you're still funky with the door. I see. I see. Still. I do know of several locations where there are um, workstations in this village. Though I don't think I've seen a composter. 
Also, if you reload this seed, if you if you enter this seed specifically on the official release of 1.14, it's different, slightly different. I mean, the village is a lot different, and a lot of some of the generation is slightly different as well. I actually did it because I wanted to see because I was trying to make a copy of the world for a creative flyover so I can kind of get a better lay of what's around me from above but when I did it was completely different the village here was like just completely backwards I mean backwards as in like not the way it is I guess it looked better to be honest and maybe I should have waited for the official release but I didn't, so... Yeah. Wait, there's a crafting table right there. What the hell am I doing? But I still need books. Damn it! Ugh. 23 minutes of me rambling on about stupid shit. Anyway. Let's... I will be... Right back. This is the crafting recipe for the lectern, in case anybody knows. I don't think it's in this book. Is it in this book? If it's in this book, I haven't seen it. There it is. I looked it up, because I couldn't find it in the book whenever I needed to. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the villager. Alright, and we're back. And I even broke the crafting table just in case. I'd have flipped... I'm breaking to sweeping edge to is this cheeky oh, I was so sure that's an ending I do need paper <laughs> I also need an auto shutter game farm Punch one. No book. Knock back. Okay. Thorns one. Ugh. Okay, since I know for a fact this is going to take a while, I think I'm going to... That's not a bad deal, actually. But still. There's that. Anyway, I think while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hopefully... By next episode, we'll have a mending villager. Already seems to be times up for switching in workstations. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode, where hopefully, hopefully, we'll have a mending villager, where we can finally get a mending book. See you guys then.